So we got on this uh, <laughs> topic of uh, joggers who have to go poop when they're out jogging. Mm-hmm. And some of them do it while jogging. And then they, wherever they need to do it, sometimes it's the exact same place every single day. Sometimes that's in a restroom. Sometimes it's before they go jogging. But sometimes it's every day in the middle of the jog. We've gotten a few text messages that have said, I just do it before I go. But I suppose sometimes, like, you're a pretty regular guy, but, like, I'm not always. Like, I can't, if I have time to take a run, I can't be like, oh, but I haven't pooped today. Like, <laughs> do you wait around and just hope you poop or what? I would just run a route that Where kept has... me reasonably close to a restroom until that time comes. Who am I kidding? I don't run. <laughs> it doesn't but we got a couple of very yeah. long but good text messages. Yes, and not all of these are necessarily about running, but they're about like having to poop yeah. and you can't help it. Right. Um, one one of them is. Yeah. One here says, I was by myself at my storage unit once and I had moved a bunch of furniture out when I got a very sudden and quick urge to poop. There was a gas station next door, but there was no way I was going to be able to move everything back in and get to the bathroom on time. I ended up finding a Tupperware container to poop in and I used a t-shirt to wipe. Desperate times. We have such a classy radio show. Here's what I probably would have done. I would have just left the furniture out and been like, well, I hope no one steals it. Because I would have just ran to the gas station. Because if it was in storage in the first place, it couldn't have been that valuable. And like, what are the odds that someone's going to legit have like a truck and another person to help them load a bunch of furniture and and steal it? (laughs) Five or 10 minutes, you're going to be gone. But it makes for a funny story. So that's still hilarious. Yeah. Uh, one year says, I'm not an avid, this is a running one, and this one made me laugh so hard. I'm not an avid jogger, but I do go once in a while. A couple summers ago, I went for a jog. I was about a mile and a half from home, and after I had already ran past to Casey's, my stomach started to hurt, and I instantly had diarrhea running out of me. I stopped to walk, hoping it would go away. It went away momentarily, so I started to run again, and then it started gushing out again. <laughs> I had on long capris and tight biker shorts, so I thought I was safe. They were both black. I weaved in and out of the neighborhood trying to get home without nobody seeing me because I had no idea if you could see it. Like how, like, you know. Uh, Well, I made it home and my son was playing in the front yard and he yells out, Mom, you pooped your pants. (laughs) I said, I I said, no, I didn't. And I went in the house and locked the door. (laughs) No, I didn't. Climbed in the shower to clean up. It was so bad. (laughs) I just sat in some mud. I always shower with all my clothes on. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and this one's kind of long, not about running, but it's still, it's a little bridesmaid-ish. You know the movie Bridesmaids? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so, so keep that in mind here. Uh, it says, a little off topic, but we are driving myself, my husband, sister, his sister, and our nine-month-old. We had just eaten and then got back on the road for about five minutes, and my husband says he's got to go to the bathroom. How soon, we ask? He contemplates, and then he's like, next exit, like, emergent, right? So we saw a porta potty on the side of the road, and he said he would go there, but his sister says, no, I can't go in a porta potty. I want a gas station. So we get to the gas station. He goes inside, and I go in about a minute later. He's still waiting in line. It's a place where you need a key to get to the men's oh. room. But he yells at me when he sees me that I have the key for the women's room, and he's like, let me go in there. So I unlock it, and I go in with him for some reason, and that got in all caps, so you know it's getting good, because now the texter's like, so I go in with him for some reason. He goes to sit down, and it was two seconds too late. There is poop everywhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm disgusted, so I go ahead and puke in the sink. <laughs> a little there was crap everywhere he starts <laughs> attempting to clean himself up and i'm just huddled in the corner holding my shirt over my face it was all over the wall and the floor and his pants we left the key in there and sprinted away his sister's <laughs> hanging out with our daughter and we say we have to go now she's super skeptical and like what's going on we get down the road and pull over so he can change his pants we felt awful but there was nothing we could do to clean it up it was just so bad it was everywhere <laughs> I kept Googling that city and that gas station to see if we were on the news. <laughs> that poor attendant. They could have at least left like a 20 in there or something. To be like. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's like lava. <laughs> 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 
Especially the part where she's like, I just stood in the corner. Can you imagine her face just horrified? Like, what is going on? Well, you you kind of left out the part where in the text where it said the sister was skeptical and we both said, no, in all caps. Right. <laughs> she's like, what is going on? Put it in drive and put your foot down. <laughs> we have to get out of here. <laughs> we have to leave now. And then we got a text that said, I am proud to say I have absolutely nothing to contribute to this conversation. (laughs) (sighs) My Lanta. We have the classiest radio show in Sioux Falls without question. It is 825. (laughs) 